I'm wondering why they're hiding behind there. <laughs> This is part four in our Blu-ray Media Centre building TV series, yeah. online TV series, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to install the operating system mm -hmm. and the You're drivers. You're going to install the operating system, right? Apparently so. Yes. <laughs> and the software that you'll need. We're going to install Win DVD, is that correct? Yep. And, and uh, Power DVD as Power well. DVD. Two, uh, two players that both support Blu-ray now. One's beta, the other one is... Uh, a downloadable version, the Cyberlink Power DVD is actually fully downloadable. Alright, and do you have to pay for it? Well, you, not for the default version, but there is an upgraded version which we actually purchased to get the whole BD live thing. But for oh, Blu-ray okay. Blu playback, no, you don't have to pay for it, it's a right, free download okay. thing. Cool. just turned the PC on. I've already got the Vista disk in there. Let's just press delete and we'll go into the BIOS first. It's just a standard CMOS BIOS. Uh, if we have a look under advanced BIOS features, we can see that the CD-ROM is already set to be the first boot BIOS, which is exactly what you need to do. It's funny that it calls it a CD-ROM. If you actually look up in the CD-ROM boot priority, you will see that it has correctly identified it as a Sony BD-ROM drive. So, let's just get out of there and head into installing Vista. If there's no operating system installed on the hard drives, it will automatically load itself. If there is something installed on one of the hard drives, it will give you the option to boot from the CD. Uh, in that case, you uh, just hit where the enter key or actually any key on the keyboard. Alright, and here we are at the very first screen of installing Windows Vista. We're going to install in English and everything else, let's just keep it US install now. If I ever choose Australian settings on spelling and things like that, I tend to get told off, <laughs> actually, by our, our American readers. Now, I'm just going to put the product key in. However, we won't actually show you that bit. Here we have just the standard license and terms. I accept. We're going to go for um, the custom advanced setup. As you can see we've got two hard drives of 500 gig each or thereabouts. Unallocated space at the moment. We will install on the first hard drive there. Next. And it begins. Computer name, Blu-ray Media PC, perfect, that's fine. Now, here's a good question. What do you want to do with the security settings, John? I would suggest you install important updates only and on a regular basis just check all the other recommended settings. We don't want to install everything all the time. No, we don't. We need to install our uh, motherboard CD drivers, which will also include the graphics drivers and everything else. Okay, well. So we're installing the default drivers that come on the CD. After everything is, everything is installed and set up, we will update all our drivers off the internet as well. But as we do not have the network drivers at the moment, that's kind of impossible. Yeah. Mainly installing the motherboard drivers is probably the most important restart. All the iNet drivers and stuff like that. Yeah, and I guess when so. you install the other drivers, they get installed correctly. Um, what may happen if you don't restart after the section and install the other drivers, they basically have to reinitialize and you'll end up with copies and it just gets messy. So when it asks you to restart, you might as well do it if you have the time. Unless you're in a real rush or you're working on a PC that you really don't care too much about. So now that our motherboard drivers are fully installed, we're going to run the CD again. Make sure Windows Vista allows us to do so. And we'll install the the uh, audio drivers and the RAID. You don't need to create a RAID block with this. No. no. Just your audio drivers. Well, it's a real tech audio tip, <laughs> obviously, from that. It does need to restart again. It's an 8 channel Realtek controller to use as a digital interface. Alright, well, the first thing to do is to get this looking a bit better. Yeah, well, we installed the, the motherboard drivers and the audio drivers. Um, the motherboard drivers included the graphics card drivers and it defaulted the resolution by 800 by 600 and um, all the monitor was set to um, pan and scan, mm. which is the 
800 by 600 resolution. Um, LCDs never look as good when they're not at the highest default resolution. So 1600 by 1050 is the default resolution for this monitor. Let's set it to that. And it looks kind of spacious now. Now, the reason we're going into Device Manager is to actually have a look and make sure everything is installed correctly. We have one unknown device that is not installed as yet. And I'm not, I imagine what that is, that is the front USB control panel for this particular computer case. So that's already plugged into the motherboard. And as you can see, you've got the blue LED display there on the front of the case. Right. Um, that is not installed as yet, so we have not installed those drivers. But everything else seems to be installed correctly. So, I've got the CD provided by Antec with the case, so that we can install that final piece of hardware, the USB um, little display at the front of the case. That's right, media display. Would you like to install this device software, John? Yes. Are you sure? sure? It's yes. Soundgraph Universal Serial Bus Controller. Should uh -huh. I read more? No, it's not. Okay. Okay, so we have the operating system installed. We have all the major drivers, audio. What's next? Our Blu-ray software. So is there anything built into Vista that will play Blu-ray? No. Why? Is it because Microsoft backed HD DVD yes. and are now a little bit stuck? I think that could be. You know. Yeah. So in this episode we've installed the operating system, drivers and the players. We install Win DVD 8 and what was the other one, John? Uh, CyberLink Power DVD. Power DVD. Um, next week we're going to play around with those two players and also talk to you a bit about high definition in general, just to put it all into resolution the settings. settings and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it's no good us sort of saying, oh, you know, this chipset works with this resolution if you don't even understand what it means. Mm -hmm. So we'll go into that as well. Right, and after that, we'll be looking at the video cards and seeing what each video card supports and what the quality is like. So that's um, a matter of me sitting down in front of a few movies and watching a few movies and seeing how good quality they are. You? Hang on, I thought we were doing swapsies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see how we go anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's it for today. Yep, we'll see you next week. Yeah.